Chef Michael's Food Hacks. I'm Chef Michael McDermott, and welcome. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Sons, bars, and hen. Anyway, um, first I want to show you what we're going to do today. We're going to prep this pineapple. We're going to peel it, <laughs> and we're going to show you how to store it. Okay. Now you got the top here, right? I want to show you when you're in the store how to pick a pineapple. Now, see these little leaves right here? You got to be careful because they're a little prickly. That's why I'm wearing gloves. You, if this pulls out easily, just like that, you see that? It pulled out easily. Watch, I'll do it again. If that pulls out easily. That means that the pineapple is a wrap. General rule, okay? So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break the top off. And you might want to do that if you're going to put this in the refrigerator. And I just snap the top off. Okay? Now, what's cool is your kids want to do Christmas decorations. They can turn that upside down and use it as a little Christmas tree. Santa won't know the difference. Okay, so now, I'm going to turn this like this. And I have my serrated knife that we talked about yesterday. I'm going to cut. I want to use it. I like using the serrated knife because the skin is very tough. Now, I'm also having, I also have a cutting glove on. You see this? This is cut resistant not cut proof, and it helps to keep me from cutting myself. I have a glove underneath, a plastic glove underneath, and a plastic glove on top, just to keep the glove from getting too dirty. But this is washable too. Anyway, so I'm gonna cut the top off. And notice I'm curling my fingers, okay? I'm curling my fingers to keep them out of the way of the knife. Once again, curling my fingers and I'm pressing down with the heel of my hand to hold the pineapple. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down the sides real quick. And the skin is fairly thick. And what you want to do is you want to get so you don't see any of these things, okay? <laughs> those tings, as we say in New York. You don't want to see any of those tings. So then I'm just following it around, keeping my hand out of the way so I don't cut my fingers off. That's a bad thing. Going all the way around. You can buy a pineapple cutter, but... I think it takes too much of the pineapple off, and you can get used to doing this after a while. So I'm gonna push that out of the way. Now what I'm gonna do is use my little Satori knife, okay? I'm gonna, once again, hold my fingers back, and I'm gonna cut it down the middle long ways. Now inside, there's a stem, okay? You can't eat that, it's too, it's very, very unchewable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm making a little V on either side, see? of the stem and I'm going all the way down prep to keep my hands out of the way and see it takes the stem right out. Do that with the other side really quick. Whoa! And just pick the flatter side to take the stem out because you don't want it to fall or move when you're cutting the stem out and hurt yourself. Now this knife is very sharp so you want to make sure you have a very sharp knife when you're doing this, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it into pieces and this will keep about three to five days in the uh, in the refrigerator covered and if you notice I have my lid and I have my label I'm all set and now this is really good for you to have in the refrigerator you want to have two or three fruits that are made up you can even make a fruit salad with this you can cut up put some grapes in here and put some strawberries in with it okay now you get a slice like this and what I normally do is cut the slice in three pieces and I do it usually all at once but it fell down so then I pick it up with the knife very carefully. And now I want to show you a trick. I pick it up with the back of the knife so I don't get myself cut, okay? And also I don't hurt the blade of the knife. But you can also just pick up the pineapple with your hands, all right? I'm going to do this real quick. And the reason why I'm showing you all this on camera is because I want you to show, I want you to see how easy it is to have fresh fruit in your house. And it's really essential, especially with the COVID you want to make sure that your body has optimal health, okay? I'm using the wrong side of the knife, but do what I say. Don't do what I say. Don't do what I do, right? Okay, once again, we're going down the sides. We're going to cut it like this. I'm also going to show you how to do the whole thing in just a second. Cutting it about half inch slices, okay? Now I'm going to turn it and I'm going to cut it once and twice. That's it. Done. Now, and the slices aren't perfect, but they're nice, okay? And this is a nice bite-sized piece of pineapple for your sons, your daughters, yourself to eat. Also, you can put this in container 
and take it to work. Okay, that's it. I'm Chef Michael. This is Chef Michael's Food Hacks. And stay tuned for the next Chef Michael's Food Hacks. Remember, when you eat well, you live well. Stay safe.